In the typing module, we have something that's called a new type. But what is it and what does it do? So to show you, I'm going to be creating an example that doesn't use it. And then I'm going to be using the exact same example except with the new type. So right here, we're going to get started with some type aliasing. And type aliasing means you're just giving your own name to a type that already exists. For example, you might have something called a user ID, and that's just going to be the type of integer. Of course, this can be much more complex. This can even be something such as a list of integer, or it can be a tuple of type string and float. It can be anything you want. We're just creating an alias to this type here so we can use it with our own name. Anyway, once we have that, we can also use it just by calling user ID and inserting the number of 10. This is going to be treated exactly the same as the int type. So if we print this, it's not going to be any different than just using integer. But again, if this was more complex, type aliasing can make it much more readable. Anyway, let's create a function called find user, and it's going to take a user ID, which will be of type user ID. And all it's going to do is print that we found the user ID. So to call that, it's pretty straightforward. We just need to enter a user ID. And here we're going to search for the user ID of 10. And if we run this, it's going to work just fine. But there is a problem, and that is that we can also just insert an integer, such as 100 and that will also work. But that kind of makes our type here quite useless. So with the new type, we're now going to solve this issue. And new type is useful for making a subtype. So let me show you exactly how that works. So instead of creating an alias that directly links int to user ID, we're going to refer to the new type keyword. And this time we're going to say, okay, the type is going to be called user ID and it's going to be a subtype of integer, but you can put whatever type you want in there, however complex it may be. And I will remove these two lines of code for now, but what you should notice when we print this line of code is that we're still going to get 10 back. Nothing has changed so far. This is still treated as an integer, but this time when we try to call our function, we're going to have some different behavior from our code editor. For example, if we try to type in find user and we pass in something such as 10, it's going to say, hey, this is not the correct type. We're expecting a user ID. Even if user ID is a subtype of integer, it's not going to be happy with us putting in an integer. We're going to have to wrap this by user ID. So now we have to be quite explicit with what we're passing in. And if we wrap that in user ID, everything's going to work as normal. As you can see, we found the user 10. And if we actually go to the documentation, you'll see that new type creates simple, unique types with almost zero runtime overhead. So it's also incredibly efficient since it doesn't really create anything new. It just makes our type more unique because without this, the user ID would be exactly the same as just saying int with the value of 10. Also note that if we try to find a user and we say, okay, user ID, and we insert some text, that's also going to give us some syntax highlighting. But again, if we change that to something such as an integer, it's going to work just fine. So this is quite effective when it comes to typing. And once again, this type may be unique, but the value is not. This is still considered an integer when we run it. And to demonstrate that, I will print the user ID with the value of 10 is equal to 10. And when we run that, we will get true as a return because all this does is simply create a unique type. It doesn't change the type. It doesn't do anything to the type. It just creates a sort of wrapper that can be used with type hinting. Anyway, I would love to hear what you think about the new type in Python. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether you think you will use it or if it's just a waste of time. I would love to hear about it. But as always, with all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.